the blame does Brady deserve? Uh, I'm going to give him 90% of the blame. 90% 90 of the the blame? blame? Did you watch the game? I did. I watched Uh, the game, and I watched his uh, first four drives. He had uh, one first down and went out. He uh, was 0 for 4 on third downs. I also watched him turn the ball over twice, uh, and his defense didn't give up any points. For as many yards as they allowed, are you going to let me talk, Skip? I mean, come on now. No, go ahead. For as many allows as the Bucs defense gave up, they kept them out of the end zone and the red zone. They had it, for, had it, what, second and goal at the one? Make them settle for a field goal. Shaq Barrett, Shaq, uh, Mahomes turned the ball over. Mm. His defense bowed their back when they needed to. But when what, – so, what, so was the defense on the field when Tom Brady threw those touchdowns, interceptions? Mm. I mean, you going to let no. me speak? I mean, you're going to do a I, suicide. I'm, I'm just – Waiting. Well, I'm well, just go ahead, go ahead, talk. Then. No, you no, go. You, if you're waiting for your turn, let me talk, Skip. Okay, go. go I know you're upset that Tom Brady got outplayed I'm not. again. I'm not. Only upset. one quarterback I'm, has. I'm happy. Has only one quarterback has more interceptions than Tom Brady. That's Carson Wentz, and oh. you tell me he's playing terrible. Oh. So if he's second on the list, how is Tom Brady playing? Mm. Again, Mahomes is the MVP. So now pro football focus looks even worse. You look even worse because at some point during the season, mm. you said Tom Brady was outplaying. Patrick Mahomes. Mm. Patrick Mahomes now has 30 touchdowns, two picks, and 3,500 yards. Mm. And he's already done with his bye week. Tom Brady is on a bye week and doesn't have as many touchdowns, have quadrupled the interceptions, Mm. and two 300 fewer yards. But somehow during the season, he outplayed Mahomes? Mm. That was asinine as a 10 after 15, as you would say. Thank you. I invented that. You did invent that. But you also show... You also, in Venice, said when you talk about a GOAT player, mm-hmm. you judge them to the umpteenth degree. Yep. That's what you do with LeBron. That's what you do with other GOAT players. Mm-hmm. So is Tom Brady not the GOAT? See, the, the, the problem is, Skip Bayless, is that you have a hard time letting that go. Tom Brady's status is established. Mm. But he's not the same player today what caused him to get that status. Mm-hmm. And that's okay. But I'm going to give him 90% of the blame because he did not play... Basically, all he did was pull up Prescottian. Mm. He had a bunch of empty calories at the end of the day. Really? Only five of his passes he completed when they were in the score. Mm. All that junk was down there down 13, they're down 10. How many of those came in meaningful time? Meaningful? Meaningful, Is yeah. my turn? Yeah, meaningful time. So at the end of the day, Skip, look. I'm not going to – I'll let you go, and then I'll get to my tape where he was throwing the – spraying the ball all over the field, throwing the ball – I forgot <laughs> – bouncing the guy ball off guy's helmet. Mm. How do you bounce a ball off a guy's helmet when the guy doesn't even jump? Mm. But you know what? That was B.A.'s fault. That mm. interception that he threw to Scotty Miller, that mm. was B.A.'s fault. Mm. All those overthrows that he had to uh, uh, A.B. throwing the ball out of bounds, to Chris mm. Godwin, to Mike Evans, that's B.A.'s fault. What we've done – when Tom Brady plays bad, we found a way to blame someone else mm. other than Tom Brady. Mm. Really? Yep. <sighs> Tell me when it's my it's turn. It's your turn. Please. It's your turn. Okay. Here we go. So I want our viewers out there to understand that this man just said Tom Brady deserves 90% 90. of the blame. And yet the final score was what? Maybe I... Maybe I fell asleep. I don't know. I, I think it was 27 to 24. Yeah. I think Tom Brady pulled off two late long drives of 75 yards and threw two late touchdown to passes game? to cut the score to 27 to 24 with four minutes and 10 seconds left. In the game. Is that a long time? That's an eternity mm-hmm. for a guy who leads all of the National Football League history in fourth quarter comebacks in, in overtime in the fourth quarter. It. He had plenty of time. He had four minutes and 10 seconds left. And what happened? He never saw the football. It's like what you said at the AFC Championship game in overtime. Well, Mahomes never got the football back. Four minutes and 10 seconds and you can't get the football back? No. It is why the Tampa Bay defense deserves 80% of the blame or more. I I will give you 20% of the blame for Tom Brady. But let's, let's just put this in some perspective, shall we? Sure. Tom Brady yesterday threw for 369 yards and three touchdowns. And guess how long he had the football? 23 minutes. That means in 37 minutes that Patrick Mahomes had the football, he threw for 462 and three touchdowns. So if if you do the math on that, if you only have the ball for 23 minutes and you throw for 369, guess what you're on pace to do? 
you are on pace if you had the ball for 37 minutes to throw for 555 yards. <laughs> Is that good? I think it's like all time great because I think it's like record great. Yeah, it would have been. It okay. would have been. Yes, thank you very much. So that's what he did in only 23 minutes with the ball in his hands. So here's the problem. I completely and utterly overestimated the Tampa Bay defense, even at six and two, when they hit the six and two mark, I thought this well could be the best defense in pro football over the last three home games. It has proven to me to be bottom five and against the pass. It is bottom one. It is the worst defense against the pass in pro football. It's not even close. Skip, I tried to not tell you that against close. Green Bay. Okay. Well, thank you for agreeing me with me. So here's the point. We have seen three straight home games. These are home games. Two in primetime nighttime and one in primetime as in big window late yeah, in the day. They did a monster number, I'm sure. Thank you very much. And what did Drew Brees and company do? They put up 420 yards. Mm -hmm. What did Jared Goff and company do? They put up 413 yards on this defense. Mm -hmm. What did Mahomes do yesterday? 562 yards. And yet... What just slayed me was what happened in the first quarter. So Todd Bowles, for whom I have the utmost respect, though I lost some yesterday, comes out without Jamel Dean, his fastest cornerback, because Jamel Dean ran 4-3 coming out of Auburn. And he only has one good cornerback left, Carlton Davis, who's his more physical corner. you, you got to put him on <laughs> possession receivers. You put him in the first quarter in solo single coverage on Tyreek Hill, I'm sorry, I've never seen anything quite this stupid. And what did Tyreek Hill do? And don't don't tell me anybody else is better than Tyreek Hill right now because he is the best receiver <laughs> yeah, in pro football. Yeah, he's on another planet right he's now. He's on another planet because he is the fastest man in pro football. Right. As Andy Reid said after the game, he's one of the strongest pound-for-pound -pound men he in is. pro football. He now has figured out how to run actually great <laughs> routes and – He's got not good hands. He's got snatch hands. He just snatches everything within his catch radius. Mm -hmm. So if you put Carlton Davis on him, it's like he's going to live at the Ritz Carlton Davis for the whole first quarter because that's what he did. He had the penthouse suite at the Ritz Carlton Davis. And he caught 203 yards worth of passes in the first quarter. It's outrageously wrong. And if, if we could see the first one, Mahomes can't even get it far enough because he's so far behind the behind Carlton Davis on the first touchdown pass. Mahomes heaves it as hard as he can. And, and look, Tyreek has to pull up and turn and backpedal to catch the football. And it's still a touchdown. Yeah. He turned and backpedaled to yeah. catch the football. Are you kidding me? Yeah. And it got so bad. Thank you very much. That's that's an underthrow, but I'm, I'm not blaming Patrick because he's too fast. That's a, that's all the arm Patrick has on that throw, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then the the next one comes, and it's so bad. It, it it's actually he he breaks. Uh, he, Carlton Davis falls down on this play. It's just silliness. He just falls down, and then the safety comes over, and it's a and joke. And then this is disrespect. It's just a joke, and then it's total. <laughs> rub it in. Rub your nose in it at Tampa on what was then national TV at that point, the yeah. big window game. And, and he backflips into the end zone on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense at Tampa. Yeah. What I used to call Tampa Bay. I yeah. can't call it that anymore. You still anymore. call it that. You no, call it that. I, I just can't. Okay, so help me out here. Patrick Mahomes throws for 359 yards before halftime. 359? It's the most yards at a half. Since Peyton threw for not even that, but but it's the most since Peyton in 2004 in a wild card playoff right, game. Right. Well, think about that. Since 2004, that's 16 years ago, and he throws for 359 in the first half. That might have been oh, against us, Skip. Okay, was in, a, it? In, a, in a wild card game against the Broncos. Was I, think it? I it was. forgot to look up what it was. I think it was. It was against Denver. I think it and was. And what was the final score of that game? A whole lot to a few. Wasn't That's really? when they knew it was time for me to go ahead and pack my bag. Really? <laughs> I think, and, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was against. So them. it was Baltimore. No, it was. I oh, was you back went in back. You went back to. Denver. I was back okay. in Denver. So it's Denver at Indy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, really? Yeah. Well, Peyton had a rough time in a lot of his first round playoff <laughs> yeah. games at Indy. But not he, at that he time. He lost seven of them. Yeah, but Skip, that was early in his career. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. That would have been a little bit early. Yeah, that, that was like like seven years in then. Okay, so my my point is. 
if we look like even Jared Goff torched this defense, and look what Jared Goff did yesterday. He had a QBR of 10 against San Francisco. Look what he had just done at Miami ahead of the game at Tampa Bay. He had four turnovers in the first half. He's had actually a wildly unpredictable, up and down, inconsistent season, right. and yet he, even he torched this defense at Tampa Bay, right. right? Yeah. Okay, so now let's get to Tom Brady. As the telecast came on, I know you don't listen to sound, Tony Romo said two quick things to preface his sort of take on, on what's happening with Tom Brady, and he said, this is the first quote, I still think Tom Brady is playing at an extremely high level, said Tony Romo. Now, it's early in the telecast, okay. and he backed it up the rest of the day. He also said... We've got to get rid of this misconception he's lost arm strength. Well, I've been trying to tell you since day one this year, Tom Brady's arm looks even stronger this year than it did at New England. You had told me early in the year he's lost a lot of arm strength. How about You that? thought last year he'd lost arm strength. If, if we're going to get rid of the misconception that Tom Brady has lost arm strength, can we get rid of the misconception that he's still the same quarterback at 43 that he was at 33? Can we get rid of that? You see, first of all, this is what I know about quarterbacks when they're addressing other quarterbacks all-time great. They're not going to say anything because even when he threw those picks, I'm not so sure Tony Romo said they were his fault. Mm -hmm. That was the guy's fault because he had too big of a helmet. When he bounced it off his head, okay. it, was, uh, it, was, uh, uh, it was somehow... Breland's fault because he covered the receiver. They're not going to criticize their own skip. You know that. Okay, I know so that. Before I get to all the great Brady yesterday, I will deal in order with your interceptions. Brady on a third and 15 had just thrown a 44 yard pass to Chris Godwin. Mm -hmm. It was a bomb and it hit him right there. Yes. Right. So then it's the very next play and either Arians and or Byron left, which whoever calls plays, I don't know, but it's it's they're they're talking to each other. Mm -hmm. They call another bomb play because that's all they know to do. No risk it, no biscuit. They're making Tom Brady throw it farther and farther. Do you realize by about 1,500 yards, he leads this whole league in air distance. Nobody's even in his ballpark for throwing deep. Nobody in the whole National Football League has thrown as many deep balls as Tom Brady. So he should be leading right? the league in passing okay. yards, right? Well, he's very close. No, he's not. Yes, he, in passing yards, yes. he's second to Mahomes, but he's right there on his tail. But he's on a bye week. Okay. So, All right. Well, okay. okay. But, but guess who leads the league in attempts and com and completions? Tom Brady. Yes. Now, he hadn't had his bye week, but he's running away with both of them because mm -hmm. all they do is throw it deep. Right. So they come right back with another one. Well, he had just beaten a double blitz because two blitzers came yeah. open on the Chris Godwin play, and he took both of them right in the kisser yes. and got it he away did. to Chris Godwin. Yes. Bombs away. And he comes right back, and they call another deep ball to little Scotty Miller. Well, guess what? Scotty Miller has lost his job. He used to be Tom Brady's favorite deep threat right. receiver, mm -hmm. right? And he played only 10 snaps yesterday. So here's Brady. And, and guess who hits him right in the mouth again? This time, it's Honey Badger. Yeah. He gets completely free, rocks him right in the face, mm -hmm. knocks him backwards as he's throwing, and he just doesn't quite get enough on a ball to a five foot nine inch receiver. Right. Needed to be another yard longer. Breland's running with him. I still don't think it was even very I, I, open. Yeah, I don't, I don't even think he, even if it's a yard long, I don't okay. think it's going to be completed. It, it would have just been incomplete. Complete, I, will, I will buy that. <clears throat> so then we come back the next series for the one in question. And what happens? Mike Evans is not good. He is great in the red zone. But in between, and those, those yards in between, the 60 yards between the red zone, he still has little to no rapport with Tom Brady. And he still doesn't really know how to play his position. Because on that play, here they come. They were blitzing Tom Brady crazy all day long. So they come with another double blitz from a corner and a safety. They're both coming. Mm -hmm. And, and Sorensen acts like he's going to blitz. Then he drops back. The hot receiver is Mike Evans. And did he sit down? Did he just immediately turn and look for the football? Because Brady was ready to deliver it right there to him right, right at that moment. Mm -hmm. Nope. He kept running. So Sorensen, who, who actually was covering him, kept running underneath. And, and he turned and ran after Mike Evans because Mike Evans kept running on the route. And the ball hit Sorensen yeah. right in the back of the helmet. Sorensen was at the line of scrimmage. Okay. He didn't move. Okay. He's coming. No, he turned to run. And what happened? Why didn't Mike Evans sit down like the hot receiver is supposed to sit down and help the quarterbacks? It's his fault. 
You got to throw it where you think your hot is. That's, that's how you beat a blitz. Sit down. Let's have some rapport. Let's have some connection. And you have to look and see what's about to happen. Most of Brady was calling out the blitzes. He's blitzing. He's blitzing. Yeah. Well, Mike Evans, you got to get the memo and you got to sit. Just sit right down at three yards and then you can run 10 more yards right. because nobody's going to cover you. I still believe that. But so what does that have to do with him bouncing the ball off Sorenson's head, who didn't jump, who's at the line of scrimmage, engaged with the tackle, and Tom Brady hits him because in top he of the He turns to run. He, he's starting to go. He's starting to, to go backwards. My, 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 maybe something wrong with my screen because well, I didn't see that. Something's wrong with my screen. So what did we see yesterday from Tom Brady? L look at the completions he had. He had a 48-yarder to Gronkowski. He had a 44-yarder to, I just talked about, to Godwin. He had a 37-yarder that was more of a run after catch to Rojo. Then he had a 31-yard touchdown. It was a sweet throw, just dropping a dime to uh, Mike Evans. And Long he coverage. Hit, he hit Gronk again. That was a double coverage. After yeah. Well, Evans. actually, it's supposed to be cover five, which is 22-man. Yeah. And the safety was supposed to be over the top. And that's why the corner's looking yeah. at him like, bro, where are you, what are you doing? Yeah. Was it not a sweet It was a sweet. But, Skip, but you see, I, I noticed you keep saying all this. And you're talking about they only had the ball 23 minutes. But can you tell the people in their first four drives when they go three and out on three of Thank those Thank you for bringing that up. Let's go to the first Tampa Bay drive, yep. shall we? Sure. It's three to nothing. And here we go, and a couple plays into the drive, they go long because that's all they ever do with Tom Brady, and he throws a deep ball to Mike Evans and help me out. Is this not a great throw? It goes right through his freaking hands. you got to catch If you're a Pro Bowl receiver, catch it. It went over the other it, side of his hand, okay? but he should have called you, it still. You've got to catch this football, and if you do, if you do, you're all the way down to the 20-yard line, and maybe they go in and go up 7-3, to three, and maybe we have a whole different vibe to the football game. What did you say the score was at that point in time? 3-0. Three 3-0, to zero. Three to zero, and they had the ball on the track, two cracks at the one-yard line. Mm -hmm. So are you going to give Tampa's defense any credit for keeping Mahomes out the end zone? Oh, yes or no? some stupid play. Okay, where, that's where not, that's some not, Philly that's special that's where they had Kelsey trying to throw it to Mahomes. I get all that. Yeah. But are you going to give them credit for keeping Mahomes out of the end zone? A simple you, yes you or know, a simple no? I'll give them some credit for that, but not, not after you give up three. 59 passing in the first half, not after you give up 203 to Tyreek because well, you're trying to single him. By the way, in the second half, the defense started to zero in because guess what they did? They actually doubled Tyreek and doubled Kelsey the whole second half. Yes. And guess what, Mahomes? You, you're a superstar, runaway yeah. MVP. Yeah. He threw for 103 in the second half. Well, damage done. Too, too little, too late. Damage man. done. Uh, yeah, damage was done because it was 17 to nothing after the first quarter, and he's back flipping well, over the freaking goal well, line. Well, so let me ask you a question. So when Mahomes scored, it's 3 nothing. Okay, Tom got the ball back. Went three and out. Okay. Mahomes gets the ball, throws a 75-yard bomb to Tyreek Hill. They kicked the ball to Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. Can you tell the people at home what did Tom Brady mm -hmm. do? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Mahomes gets the ball, goes back down the field. It's 17-0. Can you tell the people at home what Tom Brady yeah. did? So in the process of him only having the ball 23 minutes, he could have had the ball actually longer than the 23 minutes. Mm -hmm. Had he done something with the ball when he had it? Okay. So he started doing a whole lot with the ball when he had it. So he pulled a Dak Prescott. Second, third, fourth. So he pulled a deck. Okay, well, uh, a deck, again, th they're so far behind. Were they behind 31 to 3? No, well, they weren't. They were so, so long. You think you can fall behind that team and then come back and overpower them? They did. They no, got they it back. They were back 27 24 with four minutes and 10 seconds left. Got? And help me out. Where was Todd Bowles' defense then? Whoa. All you need is one stop. Just one stop. Oh. Hey, I would not have bet against that guy. That with that hot hand, Tom Skip. Brady got a hot hand in the second Time half. Out. You were in big trouble, and you're up here gloating today because you were sweating it. You're sitting there, please God, no. please God, one stop. Don't you give him thought, the ball back. You actually thought because, they were going to get the ball. You thought they were going to get the ball back. Well, I I didn't know because I don't trust this defense at all. But oh, okay. if they had just just one little mistake, just one little, just uh, give me a little oh. something. Give that man, give number twelve the ball back against that defense. He would. Torch it. And th that's why I'm surprised. But here's the thing. This is what I find so ironic with you and everybody like you. Mm. When Atlanta had a 28-3 lead and the New England Patriots pitched a shutout, mm -hmm. you didn't give them credit. You mm -hmm. said it was Tom Brady. Right. Now, all of a sudden, you blaming the defense.
Patriots. Wait a second. In that game, a Super Bowl game, Tom Brady in just the fourth quarter in overtime threw for 246 yards. How many yards did it skip? 28-3 at the Whoa, half. The Coach Belichick's defense pitches a shutout, and all you're talking about is Tom Brady. Okay. But when things don't go well, you blame everybody but Brady. Okay. Now, my final blame goes to the coaching staff for this. <laughs> this is the turning point of the evening. This is... Brady hits Gronk for 48 yards early in the third quarter, and it goes all the way to first and goal at the five-yard line. Yes. Okay, who is the best running back on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Rojo. It's not even close. I don't even know what's left of Leonard Fournette because every time they hand it to him, he, he, runs just, the darkness. he just, just tiptoes to he the line. He's going to run into somebody's I, back. I, I'm, I'm afraid. I, I can't see anywhere yeah. to go. I'll just tiptoe up here, and then I'll just fall down, mm -hmm. okay? Even on swing passes, he's so big and so powerful. He's not a swing pass catcher. He's not open field, make you miss kind of guy. He's more of a straight ahead guy who, if you let him hit top speed, he can run. Yes. So what do they do on first and goal at the five? They take Ronald Jones out of the game and they put Fournette in. That is on Bruce Arians, mm -hmm. who seems to have lost his way as a head football coach. It's partly on Byron Leftwich, who is calling the plays. All of a sudden, I'm saying, you're kidding. And they hand it to Leonard Fournette on first and goal at the five, and he goes nowhere. Then they swing pass it to Leonard Fournette on second and goal from the six, and he goes nowhere. And then Brady did fire high to Gronk mm -hmm. to try to do it, but now it's it's third and goal from the seven, and he's throwing wild high to Gronk to try to salvage something out of this possession, and you get three. You you could have cut the score completely down to, what was it, 20 to... You, you, you but here's the yeah. thing I don't get, Skip. You're complaining about them running the football when they get down there. How many one- to two-yard touchdowns does Mike Evans has? I never hear you complain when Tom Brady throws the one- to two-yard touchdowns to Mike yeah. Evans. You don't complain then. Now, all of a sudden, they don't get it in. Now you got set. Now you having second guess. You second guess and everything. Don't do that. Well, speaking of Mike Evans, can't you give him one ball to, to try to catch <laughs> on first and goal at the five? <laughs> can't you? Well, look, look Why what not they run did. it in? Well, how did they get back in the game? It was a... 31-yarder yeah, to Mike right. Evans for a touchdown, and then it was a 7-yarder to Mike Evans yes. for a touchdown. So why wouldn't you give him a shot? I, I have well, no why idea. Wouldn't, why didn't Brady play better in the first half? Why didn't he play he, better? He actually played really well in the second quarter. No, no, no. Skip the second quarter. Really? Yeah. So he did. skip. So we got to stop this. Now I want to know how many how many quarters of the NFL game? Because in the first half it doesn't matter if a guy does well in the first half doesn't do well in the second half. Well, he didn't come when he played well in the second half and don't do well in the first quarter. He, so it's like, what is it? What do you mean, what is it? They're down 17 to nothing after one quarter. So who's and, and he, he has a nice drive for a touchdown yeah. after the sack. Was fumble. Tom Brady the quarterback when they got down 17 nothing? It was somebody else in there. Or did he come off the bench to relieve the guy? I just showed you what happened. If Mike Evans catches the first ball, all hell breaks loose. And we might be having a very okay, different Okay, let me ask you a question. If, if, if uh, Nicole Hardman mm -hmm. runs that route where he sits down and he catches that ball. That was a horrible throw by Patrick Mahomes. Okay. It was horrible. I just you know what? That's to break the game open. That makes it 34 to 10, and Patrick Mahomes just flat out missed it. First of all, if you watch, now I saw Sammy Watkins, I saw Travis Kelsey run that exact same route. Like you said, all he got to do is sit down because he knows what you call him. The 45, uh, 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 White, Devin White mm. is coming over the top. Mm. All he has to do is just sit down. Sit down! Sit down? Yes! You just flat out missed him. There's nobody around. It's gone. It's an 80-yard touchdown. Don't worry about it. He didn't need it. He already Ooh. dropped 462 on you. Has anybody ever had a day against Tom Brady like that? Mm. This man owns Tom Brady now. Guys, He'll never beat him it. again. Uh, we Tom have Brady more defense? time. Oh, now does Tom Brady play show, defense? We continue huh? talking about this game. We got to go. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.